Seventh grade, illustrative mathematics, unit four, lesson one, lots of flags. Number one, a rectangle has a height to width ratio of three to four and five tenths. Give two examples of dimensions for rectangles that could be scaled versions of this rectangle. Three to four and five tenths, multiply the three times two to get six, and multiply the 4 and 5 tenths times 2 to get 9. We can multiply the 3 by 3 to get 9, and multiply 4 and 5 tenths by 3 to get 13 and 5 tenths. An easy one would be to multiply each by 10. 3 times 10 is 30, and 4 and 5 tenths times 10 is 45. Here's a look at a few versions of scaled triangles. Number 2. One rectangle measures 2 units by 7 units. A second rectangle measures 11 units by 37 units. Are these two figures scaled versions of each other? If so, find the scale factor. If not, briefly explain why. 11 divided by 2 is 5 and 5 tenths. That is a scale factor of 5 and 5 tenths. 2 times 5 and 5 tenths equals 11 or 2 times the scale factor equals 11. Does the other side length of 7 times 5 and 5 tenths equal 37? If not, then they can't be scaled versions of each other. Number 3. Ants have 6 legs. Elena and Andre write equations showing the proportional relationship between the number of ants, A, to the number of ant legs, L. Elena writes A equals 6 times 1. And Andre writes, L equals 1 6 times A. Do you agree with either of the equations? Explain your reasoning. With one ant, you would have 6 legs. With two ants, you'd have 12 legs. Three ants, you'd have 18 legs. And for example, if you had half an ant, you'd have half of 6 legs, which would be 3 legs. An equation represented by this table would be the number of ants times 6 equals the number of legs. Another equation represented by this table would be the number of legs divided by 6 equals the number of ants. Number 4. On the grid, draw a scaled copy of the quadrilateral ABCD with a scale factor of 2 thirds. Here's an example of a scale factor of 2 to 3, or a scale factor of 2 thirds. I'm dividing this line segment into 3 equal pieces. The two-thirds scale version is two-thirds of the original length. So when you draw the scaled version of quadrilateral ABCD, be sure to draw each of the side lengths two-thirds the length of the original. Number five, solve each equation mentally. A, five halves times X equals one. Five halves times two fifths equals ten tenths, and ten tenths is the same as ten divided by ten, or one. B. X times seven thirds equals one. Three sevenths times seven thirds equals twenty one over twenty one, which is the same as twenty one divided by twenty one, or one. C. 1 divided by 11 halves equals x. The equation 1 divided by 11 halves equals x is equivalent to the equation x times 11 halves equals 1. 2 elevenths times 11 halves equals 1. Because 2 times 11 is 22 and 11 times 2 is 22 and 22 divided by 22 equals 1. Number 6. Lynn has a scale model of a modern train. The model is created at a scale of 1 to 48. A. The height of the model train is 102 millimeters. What is the actual height of the train in meters? Explain your reasoning. The model train has a height of 102 millimeters. The height of the actual train is going to be 48 times that of the scaled height, or 48 times 102 millimeters and 48 times 102 millimeters is 4,896 millimeters. 
B. On the scale model, the distance between the wheels on the left and the wheels on the right is one and one fourth inches. The state of Wyoming has old railroad tracks that are four and five tenths feet apart. Can the modern train travel on those tracks? Explain your reasoning. Four and five tenths feet is the same as four and a half feet. There are 12 inches and one foot and six inches and a half foot. Four times 12 plus six equals 54 inches. 1 and 1 fourth inches times a scale of 48 equals 60 inches. And 60 inches is greater than 56 inches. Can the train travel on those tracks?